Hallelujah. Bless Friday evening to you all, wonderful people. Bless Friday evening to you all. Bless weekend and Friday evening to you all, wonderful people. Say where you are. This is our sister Massa coming to you with this evening teaching, brothers and sisters, on trusting God on YouTube, trusting God in our generation, our more precious generation. Brothers and sisters, we are the most blessed generation that is alive to see all prophecies coming to fulfillment. And one thing I want you to know that we are blessed, even though. The Bible describes also being more dangerous and wicked generation. But in our generation, we are also blessed to be alive, to see all the prophecy coming to fulfillment that our forefathers talk about. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Isaac talk about, and Abraham and Noah and David talk about. Oh, yeah. All the prophecy is coming to fulfillment. Noah, all the prophecy is coming to fulfillment in our eyes, families and friends. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Bless. Friday evening to you all, blessed weekend, wonderful people, I bring the good news to you this evening to tell you, this evening, I come to tell you that you and I, hallelujah, you and I, brothers and sisters, we need to hacking onto the voice of the Lord, are you hacking onto the voice of the Lord, Father, I lift all your people to you, oh God, bless every soul, bless every family on this platform, I want to tell God, thank you, for all those of you that have subscribed, people are now watching the video live, this is why I'm not going live. I started to go live long time ago, but brothers and sisters, it, mo it almost looked at people that have subscribed to the platform, they are invisible. When I'm on live, they cannot come on live. So I'm on live and no one is watching the video, and then the video can turn somehow, it just turned to the page. So I see it unnecessary for me to go live. But thank God for you all that are still holding on to the platform, the good news is coming to you from the throne of grace. We are all living by grace, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the spirit of the Most High God that we are alive. So I want to bless God for your life, even as you have so put, as you are subscribed to this platform, but as I say, you are not here by mistake. You are here because God wants to be on this platform. And you can listen to the good news. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for leaving comments on the video. May God bless you, your family, as you support the work of God, families and friends. May God bless you all. May God richly bless you all for what you are doing by supporting this platform. Father, I lift all your people to you, oh God. Thank you for today. Thank you for the new month of May. Father, bless us in this month. Let the month be a blessing unto us all. Let our expectation come to pass. Let our dreams in our wish come to pass, oh God. We come against negative news. We come against every evil plans of the enemy. We call ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that Lord, your will be done, not our will, but your will. Take your glory in this place and have your way as I call myself with the blood of Jesus. I'm bringing a message to you about hacking onto the force of the Lord. God has given us a, a, a word that you and I need to hack onto his voice. Brothers and sisters, hacking onto the voice of the Lord. What God is seeing in our time, God is speaking to you in vision and dreams. You know, hacking onto the voice of the Holy Ghost. Hacking onto the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the one that's the, the seeing, all seeing and all knowing God. Brothers and sisters, it's the Holy Spirit that reveals every secret and hidden thing to you and I that we need to know in this world as a believer. Hacking onto the voice of the Holy Ghost. Hacking onto the voice of Yahweh, the creator of heaven and the earth. So I'm going to read for you now. I'm going to read for you Deuteronomy 28. What is this talking about for us to hack it onto his voice? This is what I'm going to bring to you. Father, I just want to cover myself with the blood of Jesus. As I cover your people with the blood, oh God, in this place. Let me decree you, God, increase on this platform, just a vessel of honor. Thank you for speaking to your people through me, oh God. Thank you for the message that is coming to them this evening, oh God, on the turn of May. Thank you, oh God, for us hacking onto your voice to listen to what the Holy Ghost is saying. Let us listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let us look at the signs around us and know that the Spirit of God is speaking to you. Know and have the spirit of discernment to know between the Spirit of God and the Spirit of the enemy. Hallelujah. So that you cannot go on and make the wrong decision and go the wrong way because he is yet to steal, kill, and destroy. This is the mission of the enemy. Excuse me. The enemy is yet to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. But thank God for the blood of Jesus that came to die, that we have left and have them more abundantly. Praise be to God. I'm going to read for you. Father, thank you for your word. Father, help us to hack into your voice, to know the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let us have the spirit of discernment to distinguish between the voice of the Holy Spirit and the voice of the enemy of the dark kingdom. The Father God, help us, O oh God, guide us, protect us, as we soak our life in your blood. Thank you for your angel that is directing our footsteps every day. Father God, lest we fall into temptation. Thank you for guarding and protecting our family members, their job. Thank you for guarding and protecting my family members, the trusting God in our generation. We are family now in Christ Jesus. They're also related to me now. 
oh God, I want to take things for the love that you're in the job. God, protect them from harm and danger in the name of Jesus. Even as they support this platform, oh God, as you will bring forth your, your, your kingdom helper that will come and support the platform and come and support the charity. Father God, bless your people, oh God. There's nothing you cannot do. My trust is in you. My trust is in you, Lord. Only you can save. What no man can save. Only you is capable. Only you is faithful. Only you is holy. Only you can save. Only you can save. What no man can save. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Father, I have joy in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus gave all that joy. There's no other place in the heaven, on the heaven and earth, brothers and sisters, that anybody can get any peace in the world except in Christ Jesus. You can see everything around or it's coming and shaking all over the place. Brothers and sisters, the end time is near. Get yourself prepared, be born again, be baptized, accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, families and friends. And hacking onto the voice of the Holy Spirit. What the Holy Spirit is saying to us today, that is the good news. I'm going to read for you till Romans 28. Hallelujah. This is the book of Moses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Did it write a man? 28. It said, It shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice, uh, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? We are the children of Israel. We are the generation of the children of Israel, families and friends. We are the generation of the children of Israel. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. And the message is still speaking unto us today as I bring it to you. He said, It's half. And it shall come to pass this day. It shall come to pass this day. If you were hacking onto the voice of the Lord, brothers and sisters, diligently. Not something that you feel like. It should be something to be your cup of tea in the morning. It should be your, 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 your lunch. It should be your brunch. It should be your evening, your, 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 your evening meal. Oh, yes. You need to hack it onto the force of the law. Give your love unto the law. You need to hack it onto the force of the law, families and friends. Diligently. The voice of the law. What is he saying? What is Jesus saying? What is the Holy Spirit saying? What God is saying to me today? Let me go read the word of God to hear what God is speaking to me on today. Maybe he don't want me to go drive right now to work. Maybe there's some armed robbers on our way there waiting for someone to kidnap. And you cannot listen to the voice of God. God is speaking to you. All you do is just rush it to get in the car and go to work. When we go there, boom, you get into the hands of the armed robber or kill us. We need to hack into the force of the Holy Spirit to know why is he speaking to us. But that's not concerning our family, concerning our job, concerning our health. God is speaking every day, but we are not listening. God is speaking every day to us, but we are not listening, brothers and sisters. We don't listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And so Moses is telling them to hack it onto the voice of the Lord. To observe to do what? His commandment. Hacking onto the voice is one thing. And observe to do his, his commandment is another thing. Oh, yes. He said his commandment, which he had commanded you this day, that the Lord that God will set you on her, set thee on her above the nations of the earth. If you're hacking onto the voice of the Lord, God going to set you on her above the nation of the earth, which means, brothers and sisters, in your life, people will be going through things. Things will get difficult, but God will always make a means for you to survive. You will always means for your horse to not get dry, for your hand to not get dry. He will always improvise. He will always provide for you and your family. No matter how things get difficult, the economic crisis, what kind of problem it can be, God will always sustain you, families and friends. You already provide that you have sufficiency. That's why it's good to hack it onto his horse. Because he's a blessed God. He's a just God. He's a faithful God, families and friends. So, Moses is telling them, he said, we should observe to do his commandment this day, that he will set us on her. When God set it on her, and you are there persecuting his people. When he set it on her, when you are persecuting his people, we are abusing his children, we are kidnapping babies, we are setting him apart, we are doing witchcraft with people picture on the social media. Will he set it on her then? No. God not compromise, compromise with evil. He expose them. He will not set it on her when you are wicked and selfish. You need a change. 
We need to change, brothers and sisters. God will not set it on her until you, you are, until you repent and accept it as a Lord and personal Savior. Until you repent and confess your sins. Until you pick up the cross and follow Jesus and deny the flesh and begin to follow after his statutes and his way concerning your life. They say, all oh, these blessings shall follow you and overtake thee. If thou were hacking unto the voice of the Lord, my topic, the topic of my message this evening to you is what? Hacking unto the voice of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's very, very important for you and I to hack unto the voice of the Lord. Who voice are you hacking to this evening? Are you hacking unto the voice of your, 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 your boss man? People surrounding you, that influencing you and misleading you. Who voice are you listening to? Who voice are you going to listen to, families and friends, in this time? How will the blessing come and overtake thee if you're not hacking unto the voice of the Lord, if you're not obedient to God's voice, if you're not doing what God wants you to do? The blessing will come to follow you if you deny your, your flesh and pick up the cross and follow Jesus in obedience, in consistency, in living holy and faithful for God. Oh, yes. In confessing your sin every day to Him, in walking into His first step and be obedient. Hallelujah. And have the heart of forgiveness, have, the, have love into your heart for your fellow man. Not playing evil for anyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I promise, and friends. This is the word of God I bring it to you this evening. So he said, the blessing that he will, when you are hacking onto the voice of the Lord, there's a blessing that is in stock for you and I that nobody can take away. He said he will set up above the high above the earth, above all nations. How will he set you above the nation where we cannot obey his commandment? He said, Blessed shall thou be in the city, which means he set you above her because you are obedient child. You are consistent. You are obedient. You are faithful. You are committed. You are honest. And you are what? Loyal. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. You in the city, you are blessed. You in the field, you are blessed. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Blessed shall the fruit of the body be. The fruit of your body will be blessed. Anything that your body produces is a blessing. And the fruit of that ground will be blessed. Anything you plan, anything your hands found to do, anything that you play, you plan cross, anything your hands found to do, it will be blessed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God to those that He wants us, He wants us to hack it onto His voice, that He will bless us. The fruit of our ground will be blessed. And the fruit of our cattle will be blessed. Our increase, the increase of our cats will be blessed. Our cattle will be blessed. As our cattle we have it is blessed, it's increasing. They are healthy. And the flock of that sheep will also be blessed. The flock of that sheep will be blessed. Blessed shall that shall, blessed shall be the basket and the storehouse. Families and friends, your basket will be always full. You will not go dry with food. You will not go hung with hunger. People are crying about things are difficult, but God always found food for you. You got sufficient for you and your family. That when God bless you, you also need to be a blessing to a brother who is struggling. Those that sufficient say he gave it to you, you need to share it with someone who is struggling. Don't be selfish with what God bless you with. You need to give as well. Blessed shall that be when that come in, and blessed shall that be when I go out. Blessed you will be when you come in, and blessed you will be when you go out. Your coming in every day, you leave the go away is a blessing. You leave the come in is a blessing. And then when you call, you come across, uh, 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 how to call it, you will attract favor from people. You will attract favor. People will come from the comfort zone to be a blessing to you because why you are obedient and you hacking onto the force of the law. The Lord shall cause that enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten. Whosoever that playing plot against you, whosoever that playing evil against you, God will cause them to be smitten, smitten before you. God will smash them before you. That is the way of the Lord. It's not your doing. It is man, it's marvelous. He will smit your enemy before you. Hallelujah. Before that face, he said they will come against you one way. They will come against you one way. They will play even against you one way. They will come together in one way. But when they are coming, God made them to flee seven different ways. 
they will not even know how to, they will not know how to confuse them on a way to play plot against you. That is the word of the law. When you be obedient to God's word, they are hacking onto the force of the law. We don't care what the enemy is doing. He said he will make them to flee seven different ways. This is what the law is saying. This is not my word. He said you make them to flee seven different ways. Do not even know themselves. He will set confusion in the camp. He will set fire among them that will go against them own self. They that have plotted against you will go against themselves. They will be confused. They will, they will be driven seven different ways. That is the word of the Lord and the promises for God upon your life and my life. If you obey and hacking onto his voice. The Lord shall command blessing upon thee in that storehouse. He will command blessing. When your house is dry or something is getting hard, God will command blessing. He will speak to the heart of people to be a blessing to you. He will command a brother or a sister, whatever they are in the comfort zone. He will tell them, my daughter is over there, she needs something. My son is over there, she needs something. Be a blessing to her. God will move people to be a blessing to you. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. And he said, to be what? The blessing upon the storehouse. And it shall be. He will set what? And in all that you set your, your hands upon. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord God had carried thee, had given thee. He will bless you in the land he has taken you. He will bless you in the land where you are carried away. Whatsoever land you will find yourself in, God said he's going to bless you in that land. So, no matter the enemy is bringing obstacle before us, bringing obstacle in your land, know that God promised. The amen. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord God, brothers and sisters, what he said, the woman was running to go take. What he said, from this event, he said, he said, yeah, He said, in the land which the Lord God has given thee, he's going to bless you in the land. The Lord God shall establish thee and hold the people. He will establish you and hold the people unto himself as he has sown unto thee. He take it as his holy people. He take it as his children, his chosen one, his loving one, the apple of his eye. Hold the people unto himself as he has sown unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. If you keep the commandment and walk in his way, then, brothers and sisters, the blessing is for us. It doesn't matter how long the person stay in your way, God will move them, brothers and sisters. Then the blessing is yours. He said, All the people of the nation shall see that thou art called by the name of the law. All the people of the nation, everywhere they will see that you are called by the law. They will know that you are the child of the Most High God. Families and friends. They will know that you are the children. You are children of the Most High God. You are called by the name of the law and they shall, they shall be afraid of thee. That's what the, law, the word of God say. They'll be afraid of thee. They'll be afraid of you because they'll know that you carry certain power and spirit. Your presence, the presence of God is always with you. You are not just normal person. You are natural, but you are, you don't you don't appear in the natural. Oh Lord, thank you. And all shall make. He said, and all shall make the plenteous in goods, in the fruit of the body. He will make it plenty in any goods, in the goods or your goods. He will make it plenty. And in the fruit of the cattle, and in the fruit of the ground, and in the language. The Lord has sown unto the forefathers. He's going to bless thee. The land he has given to your forefather, he's going to bless you in that land. Whatever land he has carried you in, brothers and sisters, he's going to bless you in that land. That is the word of the Lord. The Lord shall open unto thee a good treasure. Are you understanding? He will open unto thee a good treasure. The heaven to give the what? To give the ring unto the land in which in, in what? In his season. In his season. In God's own season, he will produce rain into that country that you are in. To produce what? To produce rain. To fall. In the season that he gave. And to bless all the work of the hand. And to bless the work of your hand in that place that he has produced the rain to fall. And that shall what? Lend to many nations. That is my portion. You will be able to lend to many nations from this friends. 
God will like to lend to many nations and you will not borrow. You shall not borrow. 13. And the Lord shall make thee the hair but not the tail. You always make it the hair but not the tail. Family and friends. You'll be the hair. Anywhere you go, you'll always be the hair. You'll not be the least that people will look at. You'll always be the hair that people will look at. You'll be among the good that people will look at, but not the tail. I refuse to be the tail. I refuse it for all my children, my grandchildren, my generation, my sibling. I refuse. We refuse to be the tail. We die the promises of God for your life as well as our teaching the word of God on this platform. It's your portion. You will be the hair, but not the tail. You will not bury your land to nations. Oh Lord, help us, oh God. We will not be the tail, we will be the hair, and thou shalt what? be a bob but not be neat. You will be a bob but not be neat, families and friends. In anything I do, God will always make you to be a bob but not be neat, and a one. And thou shalt be, thou shalt not be beneath if thou hack it unto the voice of the Lord. He said, All these promises, any good words, any good things that God is wishing for you and I, is only based on if we, you and I, will hack it unto his voice. To do his will. He come with all these good promises. He said, if thou will hack it onto the voice of the law. He said, hack it onto the commandment. Hello. <laughs> hack it onto the commandment of the Lord that God which I commanded thee this day. To observe and to do them. To observe or to do them. Then 14 say, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I have commanded thee this day to the left or to the right you will not go against the commandment from your left to your right you will not go to serve other gods you will not go to seek other gods you will only worship your God who is giving all the rules and regulations and giving all the promises he is the one you need to serve he is the one you need to worship for the promises to come for the fulfillment in your life you need to obey his commandments You should not go aside from your left or to your right. Brothers and sisters, to other gods. How people worshiping idols and statues, they forget about God who created the heaven and the earth. Do not go there. Do not go there to serve them. 15 say, but if thou shalt come to, but, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you and I will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord our God, Brothers and sisters, to observe, to do what he has commanded you and I to do, the commandment and his statutes which he has commanded you and I to do this day. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That is the word of the Lord to you today. If we refuse to hearken to the voice of the Lord, if we refuse to obey God, lost the commandment and his statutes, to be obedient, to live faithfully, to repent and live in righteous, a righteous thing with God, brothers and sisters, then this is why the curses will come and overtake us. The curses, you will be in the city, curses will you be in the field. I stopped to 16 of this, of this, from 16 all the way, brothers and sisters, to 68. It's only about curses. That is the development. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your people. I bless you for your word that have come forth this evening. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the message that have come to your people. Father God, I'm teaching your people. I'm also teaching myself. You say, if we were hacking onto the voice of you, oh God. So help us, God, even as we are hacking onto your voice, help us to be obedient. That God, all the blessing will follow us and overtake us. Not curses. I refuse every curse. If my family generation have been cursed before because of falling out of God, I ask that God, you have mercy upon us because we know you now, oh God. Take away and break every curse from us. Because of our forefathers doing, oh God, a mistake, forgive us and have mercy. And deliver us, oh God, from every curse of worshiping other gods, idols, and statues. Father God, help us obey your commandment. Help us to be obedient to what you are, you are saying. And I want to say thank you that bless you today for your word. And I bless you, O God, for who you are. Take your glory and I have your way. As I come to the end of this, this, this teaching this evening, may God bless and keep you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May God make it fierce of shine upon you and our families and friends. Then let him be gracious unto us and give us his peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace and live with shalom. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. May God bless you. Philippians 4, 7, say, May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guide your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Shalom to you all. Bless Friday. Bless Friday, bless weekend, and bless new month to you all. Shalom.